So this is a reenactment of what could have happened. We came home after a windy day and the basketball court was laying down in the driveway. There were no cars, thankfully, but this could have easily happened. And ever since that day, I don't park my car underneath this basketball hoop anymore. So we're gonna put the hoop back in place and then I'm gonna show you how you can secure it so this will never happen to you. This guy in high winds, it's amazing how much sail area there is right there. If you're not careful, it will be bouncing back and forth until at the right angle and right speed, so wind will come, pick that up, and push it down this way. If you're interested in the backstop build or this device here that pushes the ball in one direction so that you can just constantly get it back, I'll post those up here. So the best place to tie down on this is these poles. Ideally, you could go all the way to the back. I don't think that's good or strong enough to tie off. So we're gonna go to these supports here. And because our channel is all about options, we're gonna do paracord on one side and chain on the other side. This is gonna be good for about 200 pounds on this side and a couple loops of paracord, 1,000 pounds on this side. On both sides, we're gonna use these tie-out stakes. And we're gonna use this guy as a leverage tool. Wow, I don't even need this until the very end. You can see this really helps. Hopefully it won't go into a rock. Although it sure feels that way. Get this down as far as I can. That's pretty good. Although I don't like this being on the side here. So let's see if we can turn it just a little bit more. There we go. That rock must have given way. All right, right there. Liking that. Now all I have to do is do the same thing to the other side. I've got about four to five feet worth of paracord and I've been giving this a little thought. I actually think I'm going to run it through this little loop around here and then just do a bunch of loops like this and then tie it off. I'm going to use a little piece of 5 8 inch outer diameter, half inch inner diameter. It could be a thinner tube if you want, but this is just clear vinyl I happen to have on hand. I'll post below all the materials I used so that you have a list to go on. And I'll just run them all through here. And that way there won't be any rubbing. The, this will wedge in there real nice. Then just keep lacing it through the loop and the top. And then I'm doing what I call a double square knot. That's two loops around, and then two loops around. One, two, and then just cinch it down. And then push it together. I'm sure there's an official name for that, but that's, I think, a better than a square knot because it's not going to slip on paracord that's a little slick. It's going to cut that off and finish it. Some sharp scissors, melt it down. Now this is supposed to be mildew proof, waterproof, the whole nine yards. So I'll we'll see how this guy does against the chain side. I'm using a combination of this chain, which is 90 pounds, it just happened to be what I have on hand, and one of these quick links, which is good for 220 pounds. I've got three separate links of chain, around 270 pounds there and 220 on this. I could double up the links if I wanted to. I could add more chain if I wanted to. So here are the three links of chain in place on both sides here. So just hook those up. And you could use different size chain, a little thicker if you wanted to, and the quick link, totally up to you. And then I'm just gonna run this back up. 
take a set of pliers and give it a couple little twists and that thing's in place. I'll leave it like that for a while and then see if I want to tighten it up. I did take several links out of the chain, reduce the amount of slack in there. I'm a lot happier with that. Again, it's around here and around here. We could even take more slack out of that chain, but I'm gonna leave it the way it is and see how it does. So there you go. Two different ways of doing this. One with paracord, one with chain. I'll post below any updates on whether I think this one's better or that one is better or they're both as good. Another thing you do if you have a basketball hoop like this one is just bring the hoop down and lower and that gives you less of a moment arm to blow this guy over. Thumbs up and comments always appreciate Thanks for watching. If you like home repairs and disaster prevention, making and breaking stuff, designs of all kinds, I even do costumes, cosplay, and props, check out my channel and please subscribe because you never know what you're going to see.